Right, so this is the stuff I bring with me when I go to the woods. Um, let's have a look in more detail what I bring and what I swap out sometimes. So a couple of new items I have is a mill bank bag. Uh, I'm going to start working with that one soon. I always bring my SIS book to get some ideas from and some videos to do. First aid kit always comes with me. Knee pads here, they saved my life a few times. I got bad knees. I bring a basic um, folding hand saw. That's a silky saw copy. And then the knife I bring. I'm still using my Tukari Puko, which is a, still a really good knife. Um, I bring loads of rope. Um, this, the white one I use just to make stuff that I don't, really don't care about. And if, um, so if I use up rope, it's just the cheap shit. Um, that's my fire kit. My more Elgis, which I use mostly using uh, for carving and notches and stuff. I use a Leatherman Wave for um, taking pots and pans off fire and fixing stuff. Um, this one here is kind of like my little cook kit. So I have my uh, cook tin stove here, which has some oil, um, some rope, and other bits in there, and then you know, spatula. I got these railroad pegs, I think they are. I also carry a um, Bushcraft bush box, the Bushcraft Essentials one. Um, I haven't been using that too often though. Um, the other side I have wipes, um, some of these angle stakes that if I want to use them for putting a pot on, uh, another pot in there, and I just keep everything in that one. Um, a little sit mat, and then, then bring the camera around to get a different angle for you. Top wise, I used the one tigress top. That was big enough for me in a hammock, but I've been doing a lot of ground stuff lately, and that's huge for ground stuff. Water, I found these two um, old water bottles, which hold a lot of liquid in it. I'm not sure how much, but it's, it's the, the walls aren't that thick, so you're surprised when you get a lot of water with them. And because of the weather we're having at the moment, I make sure I have plenty of water. So three bottles for me, and then in here you have um, the cup, cook pot, um, pathfinder stuff there, all good make stuff. Um, I bring a ring cover. I bring these just for helping with the tarp real quick. Spare one of these for putting a, um, a bag on a tree. Schmag with a um, two cups there. And then that's my food. Um, the bag I've been using is the one I got from um, I forgot the name of the shop now, so I'll, I'll have a think about it. But it's a bit of a handy bag. I mean, I like that the fact that you can get into it from the main. Um, so if I have this strapped to a tree, I can just unzip this. It's fine. I did some stuff here if I want to put some bags or uh, some pouches on the outside of it. Uh, it's a 70 liter bag. You know, you can put your mats and stuff on the side of it there. So. The padding's really good, waist belt, keep a trauma bandage on the outside bit here. I think sometimes it's good to do these kind of videos because then you can take all your kit out of your bag and you might be stuff in there you don't need. It's actually weighing you down a lot. Um, the only thing I do swap out of if, if I'm going to a location where there's a lot of dog walkers and traffic and people is I swap out the knife and I just use the um, Eldris, the Mora knife, that's a bit less scary for people who don't know about bushcraft and um, woodwork and stuff like that. So that was a bit too intimidating for some people. And the last thing I need is them calling the cops on me. Um, the things I would adjust in this is probably be um, uh, my cooking. Cooking I'm still working on. I ordered a um, uh, another cook pot and um, I'm going to see if I can pack that better because everybody's been raving about it on Facebook. It was on my wish list for ages, but I actually had never bought it, but I just took the bullet and uh, pulled the trigger and bought that one. So hopefully I'll get that this week and I'll have a play with that one. Um, fire kits, I swap out uh, sometimes just to get a bit of a challenge and just to do different things. At the moment, it's so hot and sunny here that I could just do a magnifying glass one and I'll be fine with it. But um, I like using fat wood, I like the smell of it and you know working with different materials of it. So yeah, that's... Um, basically my kit let me know what you think in the comment section what anything I should add or take away um, I think I got all the bases covered um, but I'm always open for ideas so let me know in the comment section thanks guys for watching please like and subscribe and I'll catch you next video
Bye.